Hey, hey, I uh, just got a request here from a couple of friends to do a video on what we're doing with Facebook advertising to lease up our shopping centers. So I'll walk you through doing a, a new campaign quickly and then show you what we have actually running live right now for our Tucson shopping center. So fire up uh, a new Facebook tab, uh, which you're going to navigate to here in the top right corner is the manage ad section there. Um, and I've got one here already loaded and ready to go. So here you just hit this new create button uh, to set up a new campaign, a new ad set and a new ad. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna start over just so you can see really quickly from scratch how I do this and you can get through this in 10 to 20 minutes depending on how much of your copy is written or uh, pictures or videos are already ready to go. Personally, I'm a fan of the messages. So when we're choosing our objective. I want to get people writing to us so I can collect their phone number, their email, ask them when they want to schedule a tour and ultimately get them introduced to our leasing broker. So I click the messages button. Obviously, you could do a lot of other things there if you've got more clever ideas than I do. I'll call this a how to lease a building and then we'll continue on. Um, now it's going to say, Hey, uh, where do you want to have people go to? In this case, we're going to use messenger. Uh, I like that. That works just fine as the default. I'm going to create a new audience, but not one based on a spreadsheet or anything like that, but rather based on location. So I want to talk to people living in or have recently been nearby our center. In this case, I'm just going to type in Tucson, Arizona. You could do a zip code here too. Uh, and I'm gonna do it pretty tight. So bring it down to let's say a 10 mile radius around our building thinking I might get someone who just lives down the street or at a competitive shopping center next door and kind of do a, a digital poaching campaign is, is what we're working on. All right, so I've got Tucson selected and I can see there because it says, all right, given what you're looking for, that's probably two to 5,000 people a day. Um, I'm gonna look for people, I don't know, 23 to, 64 years old not that there's wrong with anyone outside of that range but i think those are going to be the folks most likely to be opening a new location starting a business um, and active as a uh, entrepreneur or an owner operator uh, here you can put english i'm just going to leave that detailed targeting is where it gets interesting so here we can go in and do some fun things through demographics, interest, or behaviors. I'll give you some examples. So demographics, we can say that, you know, where they work. Uh, are they employed by a real estate brokerage? Are they employed by a restaurant company? Are they affiliated with certain industries like franchises? Do they have interests in real estate or food or food trucks or whatever it is? So, you know, I have a bunch of things in my existing campaign, but I'll just give you some ideas. So I think franchise ease or franchisors or people who have interests in franchising that could be interesting if i'm going for another subway or a papa john's or something like that uh, people who are restaurateurs can't if you can't spell you can't you can't uh, add stuff to your list here restaurants there we go so that's an interest for folks. And that might just be consumers, but they might also be business owners. Real estate manager. There we go. Property management. Um, operations manager. I'm just, I'm just making this stuff up. Uh, how about real estate broker? Okay, that might be interesting. And so you can see, you can just keep going here. And now that we've got a few things going, Facebook's gonna make this way easy for us. Food and restaurants, entrepreneurship, business opportunity, brokers, small business owners, I like that. Realtors, maybe the residential guys know someone who's opening. Um, franchise owner and operator, consultants, owner, sole proprietorships. Uh, all this stuff seems like, for me, it's gonna have a high likelihood of being you know the type of business owner that we would probably want to tour through the center and see if we could get some interest okay i'm going to leave it at that obviously you can go on and on and on and on with that list which makes sense because you can get more and more specific and targeted for the right folks we want to spend our dollars as widely as possible
All right, I'm just gonna leave nothing for the connections here. The automatic works just fine in this case. If you're gonna come in and really optimize things, you could dig in a little bit deeper there. Let's optimize it for conversations, that's great. Um, if you would say, I, I wanted to spend no more than $10 per person to have conversations, you could do that. In this case, I'm gonna let Facebook use their best judgment and say, I just wanna set my budget to 20 bucks a day. And so it'll work as efficiently as possible to, to try and give you good ad spend here. So we know we're gonna spend 140 bucks a week, that's fine, continue on. And now we're gonna start to fill in what the ad creative or copy is actually gonna look like too. So hopefully you've got a Facebook page built already. If not, that's a good first step. Uh, here we're River and La Cañada, so that's good. We're gonna use that one. I don't have an Instagram account set up for this. Should. That's a good place to find people. And then we're gonna create an ad. So I'd encourage you to do a carousel because that's more images, more videos, more things for people to scroll and take a look at. Uh, so you click that and then you start to populate it. So here it's got by default three cards that you could load in with different images or different videos. And you can add a bunch more, uh, which is smart because then Facebook will look at which ones are performing best and say, hey, go ahead and run this one because people seem to like this picture or video more than the other ones. Uh, so you select those, you upload them, it gives you kind of some of the specifications here, catchy headlines, and I'm always talking about the stuff that's in our leasing brochure. So, you know, we've got good car count, we've got certain household income, uh, we've got 50, 200 feet available for lease. You can locate right next to Albertsons and a Starbucks and all these name brand tenants that people would say, hey, I can enjoy the foot traffic coming off of that. All right, so this is the job, the box. Always show the best performing card first. Cool, Facebook's gonna take that data as this ad starts to perform and utilize that to get the best possible response. Okay, so there we go, we're gonna send them a message uh, and then you can create some automated bot like messenger responses and I'll show you what that looks like for our live campaign. Can I make a purchase? Can I tour your building? What are your lease rates? All those types of things. Uh, good to have a pixel set up if you want to retarget folks. Not super mission critical for this. So that's more or less what we're going to do. Hit confirm. That puts it out into the Facebook ethos. They're going to review the ad, make sure it's all kosher and compliant, and we're in business. At this point, let's go take a look at our existing ads. So you can see what I actually filled in, what we actually used. Um, you can see this river is one that we've spent you know, 30 bucks per engagement on. We've been in front of 24,000 views and reached just over 7,000 people. And I've been doing this for a couple months, just kind of tweaking it and slowly, uh, you know, seeing what we could generate out of it. And finally, it started to get uh, interesting. So here I called it River Carousel. Uh, just like we showed earlier, going for auctions with messages, didn't send a limit on the campaign. Uh, let's continue into the ad set. Um, we went to Messenger here. I did a $10 daily budget. I ran it till the end of March. Um, and you'll see in a moment we'll hear why I have this on pause. And then with my targeting, I got down to a one or two mile radius of our actual shopping center. I'd heard from another uh, investor that, you know, they thought the lion's share of their mom and pop's deals were coming from within a three mile radius of their building. And I thought, all right, I'll experiment with this and see if I can get lucky. My age is 23 to 64. You can see a bunch of the interests that I selected here. So things like entrepreneurship, franchising, business owner, brokers, uh, associated with the American Association of Franchisees and Dealers, behaviors, small business owners, um, real estate agents and brokers, owners, managers, CEO, franchise partner, consultant, franchise manager, you get the idea. You can go on and on and on. And I think the more specific you can be with the targeting, that still gives you an interesting size audience, the better. From placements, uh, I, again, I would just stick with automatic. I made a couple of adjustments here because we don't have Instagram live. And then on the actual creative of the ad, uh, this is something that you could create two or three copies and kind of experiment with which one is working best. And when we did that carousel ad unit, that gives us this option. And so in this case, I've got three separate images that we're running here and it scrolls side to side. And then, you know, what I use for headlines are things like tour available, new signage. 
we're doing COVID relief, free rent and tenant improvement allowance while all this chaos is going on. Uh, lease space next to Albertsons at River and La Cañada, which is what everyone in town knows it as. Uh, suites from 900, uh, feet, 900 feet to 5,280 feet. Send a message. So that's what mine looks like. I'll see if I can pull a live one up here. Preview desktop news feed. Okay, here we go. So this is exactly what it would look like for a consumer who comes in, scrolling their page, seeing all this nonsense. And oh, sure enough, sponsored ad. Picture the building. Um, I put a nice little aerial in here so that they could see what part of the shopping, whoops, what part of the shopping center was available in relation to the grocery store. I put a picture of our new signage up here so they can see, you know, the caliber of the tenants that are in. And then again, everything is driving for them to send a message. Click this button and boom on their phone or here. Hey, here's a picture of the shopping center. Here's a reminder. Oh yeah, suites from 900 feet. And then the bot that we programmed is saying, hey, um, first name, are you looking for a suite? Yeah, I own a insurance brokerage. And then, you know, we can respond back in real time with them. And what I'm typically doing is saying, you know, what type of business do you have? How soon are you looking to lease? And more importantly, uh, what's your contact info so I can get you a tour set up with our leasing broker? Uh, give me your cell phone, give me your email, or you know, set an appointment time so that we can move to the next step and let our broker do what they do best. And this one's kind of fun because I did just get an inquiry off of this campaign and it ended up being someone who went and toured the building uh, and had a good tour. So let's see if I can find our page here. Uh, In our inbox for the business shopping center page, I'll scroll down and a couple weeks ago, we had a gal reach out with a home healthcare business, uh, Tashana. And so she saw the ad. Um, are you looking for a suite? Yes, I'm looking for something I can turn into an office for my uh, home healthcare business. Great, how many square feet are you looking for? I can schedule you time with Ramiro. Do you like a call? Do you like a text? Do you want us to email you? Are you ready to go tour in person? Which is awesome. Uh, and she said, I don't really know, not uncommon. I just know I need something with a receptionist, two offices, conference room. Okay, good. I'm always like, it's good news. Come on in, come get a tour. So uh, here's her cell phone number, which is what I'm looking for. Email, great. Now I can look her up, right? Honest Healthcare and, and see what her business is. I found her on Facebook. I found her on LinkedIn. I can get a, get a little sense of what's going on. Take a screenshot of this. I send it over to my leasing broker, Ramiro. He reaches out, schedules the appointment. She tours. She likes it. Um, she's busy, but eventually, um, and this, one, this one's kind of fun, we get to the point where uh, she's ready to tour. Let's see. She tours and she submits an LOI. We counter her LOI and now we've got a deal going back and forth as of three hours ago uh, that looks like something that we can say yes to. So five year term, you know, right where we wanted to be with the rents, we're giving her a pretty good TI package, uh, but we're filling up 1800 feet out of our 50, let's see, 3000 feet available. So this brings us to 93% occupancy. Can go test the market now. We could do a refinance. Of course, if the zombie apocalypse wasn't going on, but uh, case in point, you know, real LOI that we can go to lease on right now from a Facebook ad from just a couple weeks ago, mom and pop tenant that maybe we wouldn't been in front of otherwise. I think it's worth a shot. If you have any questions about that, give me a holler. Uh, happy to go through any of this in a little bit more detail or expand on it if that's going to help and be valuable for you. Take care. Good luck get some good deals.